Hey everyone, it's Felicia and today I'm going to be playing an indie game that I am super excited about um, and it's called Owlboy. Owlboy is a game that came out this month on November 1st and it's by D-Pad Studios. The OST is awesome, it's very cinematic while also kind of having that 8-bit retro feel at times. The artwork is stunning, the pixel art is um, what they would call high bit. So it's not 8-bit or 16-bit, but it still has that nostalgic 8-bit, 16-bit era feel, which I totally appreciate. So enough rambling, because I can sit here rambling about this game all day long. I am going to play some Owlboy. I want to uh, preface this because it's not starting from the beginning. It's kind of, it's still in the beginning of the game, but it's kind of well into it. So I'm going to try and catch you up on a few things before I begin. So Owlboy starts off with Otis, who is the Owlboy, and he is having a difficult time transitioning into owlhood. His mentor is giving him a hard time because Otis just can't seem to nail all the things that come with turning into an adult owl, which is like flying and, you know, being graceful and wise and all of these great things, but Otis is clumsy. He's prone to getting in trouble. He's also a mute, which is awesome to have a protagonist in a game that has a disability. Sky pirates attack their home and they're trying to figure out why, what's going on, why are these sky pirates attacking? Kind of like a, you know, in your face moment where it's like, okay, well you guys thought this of me, but I'm going to be courageous and try and save our city from complete and utter destruction. Unfortunately, their attempts to save the city are in vain because, um, yeah, the city ends up getting destroyed. And this is the aftermath that we're about to see right now. So I'm going to continue and we'll see what has happened to Owlboy and his friends and the destruction of Advent. So we are in Mandolin's house. Otis, you're awake. I'm so happy you're okay. You were all beaten up when I found you. Oh, this is all so horrible. Oh gosh. Those poor people from Advent, we're taking as many refugees as we can. And luckily, the owls from Advent are here as well. Strix and his students are doing a really good job. We're all doing what we can, but, well... Asio is out by the lookout point. It's just... He's been there for days, and... He doesn't speak to anyone. So Asio was the mentor I was mentioning earlier. Maybe he'll talk to you, Otis. Would you mind checking up on him out there? At this rate, I worry he might end up leaving the village. Oh. And Getty? He's, um... He's down by the... The... Graveyard. I guess our village has one of those now. We've located it below the village, down there. <laughs> oh, Otis, it's as if the village has lost all its colors and brightness. I hope everything will turn out all right. So, um, I don't know. Let's visit Getty first because Asu is a bit scary. He's not a big fan of Otis, let's just say that much. Everyone looks so downtrodden and it's so sad. I think this is where the uh, graveyard is. This, this is too much. I can't believe it, Otis. Everything has gone wrong. 
I can't stay here in Valley. It's been nice to know you, Otis. Goodbye. I don't think we'll see each other again. So things are very, very depressing right now. So many lives lost. I... I can't believe this happened. I was right there, and I couldn't help. None of the things we accomplished mattered at all. We were doing so great, and yet, this is how it all turned out. We failed them. We failed them all. I miss it, Otis. I miss it so much. Even though we never got to fully experience Advent. Its streets, its culture, the people, we never got to see how it all turned out. Otis. Did we try hard enough? I, I, I don't know if I can go back there, Otis. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> do you think it makes any difference what we do from now on? Our future is lost. Our capital is completely gone. Think about it. The pirates destroyed Advent this easily? What are we to do? I... I don't feel like I belong in this village anymore. I've failed all of them. Oh, Getty, he's being so hard on himself. Is it okay if I stay at your place for a while? I need to get away from here. You are welcome to my place anytime, Getty. So Getty is like Otis's best friend. And they both tried really hard to save Advent, and it almost seemed like they were going to do it. And right at the end, everything just went to complete shit. And yeah, this is, this is what happened. Um, I love the expressions of the characters. You just feel the weight of the emotion because they convey it so well. All right, so now we are going to visit Osseo. Hi, bro. My name is Pip. What's your name? Can't talk, huh? That's fine. I'll just call you bro. Owl bro. She's cute. Or he. I don't know. <laughs> nice to meet you, owl bro. You're cute. Oh, I can pick him up? Oh, okay. No, it's just this. Okay, let's go visit our mentor. This guy is like completely knocked out.
I'm a bit nervous because I feel like Osseo is going to blame us for the destruction of Advent. I just have a really good feeling. He's notorious for blaming everything on Otis. <sighs> a disaster. Advent destroyed. Pirates roaming free. And the professor comes and tells me that the ruin holding the relic was opened. If the pirates gather all the relics, then we are all doomed. And with Advent gone, we can't stop them. Otis, you're here, are you? Leave me. I don't want to see you here again. I knew it. I wonder if I can be persistent. All right. Psst. Master Otis. I must not be seen here, but we must talk. Let's meet in your house. We can talk there in private. So that guy is a pirate who went rogue and decided to join me and Getty in our adventures to save Advent. Um, but since he betrayed the pirates, he has to keep a low profile because it seems like the pirates are out to get him. And it's, he looks like a pirate, so if anyone sees him, they're obviously going to freak out. All right, let's see if I can find our house. Because everything looks so different. I'm having a hard time finding where anything is. Okay, here it is. Ah, Master Otis, Master Getty. Forgive me for hiding in your home, Otis. It would do no good if the locals saw you fraternizing with a former pirate. Especially after what has happened. Advent is destroyed and there was nothing we could do to stop it. Molstrom and the pirates? Why would they do such a thing? So Molstrom is like the leader of the pirates and he's very strong and he was the one who single-handedly took down Advent. Alphonse, is there something you're not telling us? Alphonse! If you know something, anything, that can aid us against Molstrom, it might help us prevent yet another attack on Veli. You are most certainly right, Master Getty. Molstrom, the pirates, and myself, we were all created by the owls. Holy shit. That's a... Uh, that's a plot twist! What?! Your mentor is right, Otis. Molstrom is gathering ancient owl relics. And when he gets them all, he will be unstoppable. I will tell you what I know. No one knows what our original purpose was. Likely we were merely servants for the owls. Using our strength, the owls could reach for higher knowledge. They designed various models, each made for a specific function. We were expected to optimize. We would constantly improve our ability to carry out our function. But as you know, the ancient owls and what remained of their cities all but vanished. Without their guidance, we continued our tasks blindly for centuries. Molstrom, greatest among the war units, rampaged. Built for war, he always needs something to destroy. None could oppose him. 
Those of us who didn't agree to follow him were exterminated. Malmstrom took us to the sky and gave us a new name, Pirates. With him as our captain, we roamed the sky, growing ever more powerful, until at last the captain heard of the relics. The relics are artifacts of terrible power, remnants of the ancient owls at their peak. To Molstrom, their power is irresistible. Captain Molstrom has found two relics. One that was hidden in Veli, and the other in Advent. Wait, so you're saying the pirates destroyed Advent just to get the relic? Yes, Master Getty, and now only one remains. If he gets the third and final relic, I'm afraid Molstrom will be unstoppable. Is there nothing we can do? There is, but I admit I am hesitant. My suggestion to try to stop the pirates in Advent puts your lives in danger. Perhaps it would be best if we didn't try to meddle with the pirates anymore. The pirates are threatening Veli. We have to try and stop them. What happened in Advent wasn't your fault. I screwed up most of all. My sole duty was to protect us from pirates. If we don't fight back against the pirates, I can't ever make things right. The pirate's next destination will be a ruin called the Floating Continent. In an ancient owl structure there, the owls hid the last relic that Molstrom needs. We must leave Veli and fly high up into Strato. That is where we will find the Floating Continent. Then we should go to Strato now! It's the only way we can save Veli. I shall be in hiding here until you get out of the village. All right, Otis, you ready? Let's go. All right, we're going. Me and Getty. So as you can see, um, Otis can carry people. And I think that's a really cool dynamic in this game, especially in battle. So Getty has like a little pistol that shoots things. And it works great against certain enemies. When you carry um, Alphonse, he has kind of like a... I don't know what you would call it, like a... A flamethrower of some sort and he works well against certain other enemies so you can switch between the two and use them during certain times in battle where um... how are we doing on supplies um this is all there is sir Strix this is it this village's supplies won't even last a week Preposterous! Asio has done a lackluster job here at best. I think we're seeing where Asio gets his mentality towards Otis. We need to start planning a long-term solution for all of Advent's refugees. Comfort is secondary. Survival is top priority. Hmm. Yes, sir. All right, we'll let them handle that while we go try and save the world of Owlboy as we know it. This is Molstrom. Those are the two relics that he's captured with one left remaining. And me and little old Otis are going to try and save. Oh, it's 
so beautiful. I love the artwork so much. Here we go. All right, friends, this is Trapos. If we continue upwards, we'll eventually reach Strato. I've never been that high up before. Is it really safe, Alphonse? Not to worry, Master Getty. I've sailed the Strato skies plenty of times. There are no more dangers there than any other places we've been. Uh, all right. Can I just appreciate the soundtrack for a little bit? Oh gosh, the feels. This game hits you right in the feels, I swear. I remember first playing it and um, it was a demo that the developers were very kind enough to give to me to play. And just on it starting up, I was like, oh my gosh, this game is going to be amazing. It's going to live up to the hype and so much more. And it did. It really did. Okay, so I'll show you a little bit of Alphonse's abilities. So he has kind of like a shotgun type mechanism, but... Um, it's way more strong than um, Getty's, but it's slow. So as you can see, like we can just like barge them with attacks with Getty and it's instantaneous. There's no reload time. It's very fast paced. Where with Alphonse, um, it's very powerful, but very slow reload time. So, you have to choose what works best for you. I really, I really like Getty. Um, I like the fast paced action. Um, if I feel more in control. I'm not great with reload times. So, you know, if I have to like spam the attack button, I would much rather do that than have to like wait for it to reload. Whoa. So here's a little bit of combat action for you. Oh no, come back here. Oh, we don't want him. So you can alternate between the two. Um, and that's very useful. And let's, is there anything we can eat? So all those little vegetables that you find like buried in the ground you can eat them and regain your health. And I will say that this game is challenging. It's not... Whoa. <laughs> Don't let its appearance fool you. It's very challenging, especially the boss battles. I had to do the last boss battle in Advent. I had to do it like three times because I kept getting my ass handed to me. I love these buccaneers. They're so adorable. This next one isn't just cool, it's also very nice. So with the coins, you don't actually get to spend them per se, but once you meet certain, um, I guess like thresholds, like once you get to 500, once you get to 1000, this guy will award you with stuff. And his little buck, or she, sorry. Her little buccaneer pals are so adorable. Hee <laughs> hee hee, give me a second here. <laughs> ah, it's so cute. Trinket time? Trinket time. Here you go. It's Buccaneary's nice soup canteen. Wrap your beak hole around that and tell me what you think. Nice. So each time we get one of those, our health meter gets longer. Level up! Yes, no need to thank me, just bring more booty! <laughs> um, this one... How much is this one? A thousand? Oh, okay, so we can get another one. You've collected. Well, well, well. You're becoming quite the adventurer. I think you're worthy of this next surprise. 
for high flying adventures only. Behold. I have a hat. <laughs> I can see that. Will you please bring it to the nice owl person? But, no buts. It's yours, sir. I'll just toss out that ugly green hat then. So we had a green hat last time that looked exactly like Getty's. Now we have a hat that looks exactly like Alphonse's. Haha, <laughs> it's a little big. But it does make you look pretty awesome. I miss it already. That's great, back to your shack now. <laughs> okay, ma'am. So, I don't know, for those of you who are into, like, RPGs, this might be a shot in the dark, but this game makes me think of Legend of Mana. The characters, like, the way they look, and just the, um, I guess the settings are very, like, just very reminiscent of Legend of Mana, and I remember watching a video of someone else doing a Let's Play of this game, and they said something similar, and also in the comments people were saying something similar, so I know I'm not alone on this, so if you feel like this is reminiscent, let me know in the comments, because there are just little things here and there that make you go, hmm, you know what I mean? Um, this is at 12.50, we're not quite there yet, so I think we're done here. We got a sweet hat. Sweet pirate hat. All right, let's equip our our guy. Hey, hey, bud. I believe we talked to him before. That's why he hasn't. He doesn't have much to say. We're just gonna keep flying higher. What is this? Say, Otis, maybe we should get a little rest before we move on. Yes, no, yeah, sure. I've never done this before, I just wanna see what it's like. Is it, it's like a save point, I'm guessing. Soundtrack, I'm telling you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm fangirling too hard. <laughs> Guys, I I don't think I'll be able to get any sleep tonight. Advent is We know how you feel, Master Getty. How about we talk about something else? You're right, Alphonse. I need to put my mind at ease. And there are some things I'm really curious about. Um, the relics, the floating continent, that cloaked weirdo we met. <laughs> well, let's explore all of these options, shall we? The relics. I don't remember much about the relics' origin. I know that they are made by the ancient owls and that they contain extraordinary power. As you've seen, I would guess that Dirk will be the one looking for the relic in the floating continent. Most of the other pirates are not independent enough for missions like these. They were not made to improvise. And the captain usually does not do work he considers beneath him. Good. If we see that guy again, I'll give him a piece of my mind. As you say, Anything else you want to talk about? The floating continent. I've never been there before. Do you know anything about it, Alphonse? I was there long ago. You mean months ago? Years ago? Hmm. I think it would have been eight, maybe nine centuries ago. Centuries? 
You're that old, Alphonse? Older. But the farther back I think, the less I remember. I remember hearing talk of a great machine built in the continent. A machine built by the owls further back than I can recall. These days, the floating continent is half overgrown with plants and half submerged in lava. Hmm. A terrifying, inhospitable place full of beasts and pitfalls. A good place for adventurers such as ourselves to prove our mettle. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about? That cloaked weirdo we met. Sure. Cloaked weirdo. Who is this you're talking about, Master Getty? There was a strange guy outside the Owl Temple when he got there. He was reciting some book. Do you remember what he said? I'm getting my voices mixed up. Hmm, let's see. He said, The Owl Temple, first of the great temples. Here the owls learned how to control the elements and challenge the natural order. By the end of the first aeon, they had mastered water, fire, and wind. And their work here revealed to them the existence of the higher mysteries. So says the Book of Nocte. Impressive recollection, Master Getty. Does it mean anything to you, Alphonse? I have heard of this Nocte long ago. I think perhaps I have read the book he speaks of. But it's strange, it ends very abruptly. I seem to recall that there was more about these higher mysteries. Anything else you want to talk about? Alphonse, maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself, because we don't really know much about this guy. We met him in the heat of battle. He was actually one of our enemies. We defeated him, and the guy that he was with left him for dead. And Alphonse was talking about how pirates usually have more pride than that, that they never leave other pirates behind. He wants to feel a sense of kinship almost, and of pride about what he does and then he met us and he was like you know what like i'm going to abandon the pirates and join you guys because you guys are fighting for this worthy cause and he was drawn to that but we didn't really learn much about him he just tagged along and that was it tell you about myself what do you want to know i don't know anything well, he's all like, uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to be a dramatic actor. Actor. I wanted to awe the world's finest from a stage. Under Molstrom, I wasn't allowed to. But when we have saved the world from the pirate threat, I hope to pursue that calling. Huh, that's surprising. You were created as a servant for the owls, weren't you? Were you made for acting? Combat was never my specialty. I much prefer acting and cooking. In fact, I was made to serve in whatever manner I thought best. Not all pirates were as fortunate as I. I'm just grateful that I found a more worthy master to serve. One who works for good. Anything else you want to talk about? I think we uh, explored all these options. So let's go to sleep. All right. So the cool thing about these two is you don't have to take them with you every time you leave. You just press the R button and it spawns whoever you need. So there's no like leaving anyone behind really. Um, let's just keep flying up. Ah, so I think here is when we use our good friend, Alphonse. Oh. 
Ooh. I am just not the best flyer. Whoa! Oh my god! Woo! There's a lot of enemies over here. Oh my gosh. This is getting a little uh, intense. There we go. I was pressing the wrong button. That's why I wasn't cycling through them the way that I'd like. Uh, I would like to grab this, but I would drop him. Help! Anyone! I'm totally stuck down here. Oh, happy day! Mister, are you here to save me? I've been stuck down here for ages. I'm so hungry, I was just about to eat my own feet, hee <laughs> hee. Hey there, fella. Wow! Did you just get teleported? Um, yeah, hee <laughs> hee. I did, actually. I guess I'm getting kind of used to it now. Wow! I wish I could teleport. I'd never be stuck again! Whoosh! So cute, I love them. <laughs> that's what it would sound like. Hee <laughs> hee. That's, um, that's great. He's like not into it. <laughs> I'd even be able to teleport away from Buccaneary's punch. I mean, I'd be able to return to Buccaneary's right away. Yup, that's where I want to be. Okay, so should we help you out of here, or...? Yes, please! Alright, Otis, you're the carrying expert around here. I'll leave this one to you. Bye-bye, teleporting man! Oh my gosh! Wow, mister, thank you so much. I can totally make it from here. I'll be hanging outside Buccaneers with my bros. Come visit us soon, why don't ya? The cuteness. As I make sound effects to the game. Um, so there's this duder. You gotta be careful. There's lots of enemies about. I'm wondering why there's just random water there. If it's gonna be used for anything. Whoa! I thought he was behind that. Um... No. Where did you go? Okay. Well, we could use this. Gosh, I am terrible. I need that. Oh god. I just don't want to die, so I'm looking for more of those plant things. Hopefully I can find some before I move on. We just have to be more careful. What is this? It's 
so random. So I'm like, I'm torn between, you know, continuing on to where we're going to be fighting and stuff or cutting it off right before then and doing another video of that because again, this is like an RPG game. So it builds slowly and this is kind of like a transitionary period in the game. And this video could easily run up for up to like 30 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour if I let it. What the F is that? Let's... Ah! Oh my god! What is that? Oh my gosh, they took me out. Never seen those guys before. I like how the music has changed. So what if I- OH! 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 We are fucked. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, this game is, an, is not easy. It's not easy in the least bit. So... Fucking A. Oh, these guys are whooping my ass. So I feel like, I'm telling you, I love Getty because uh, Alphonse is just too... He takes too long to reload. And these enemies do not... Whoa, okay. Did beating them give me that treasure chest? I'm guessing so, huh? Please that there be no more of those guys, because they give me fucking anxiety. Okay, so... Another cool thing about this game is that auto saves a lot, and there's never really that... Oh, I have to start all over again. There are places where you might have to do that, particularly in places where events are about to happen. Like in Advent, there were spots where I would have to kind of go back a little bit if I had died. But that's understandable, you know? Like, they don't want to make it too easy on you. So to see what's over there. I have a feeling we may have to go explore that area anyway. So let's just follow the path. too quiet. The floating continent. Greatest of the owl homes. The machines produced here were the finest the world has ever seen. For the first time, owl technology surpassed the capabilities of life itself. There seemed to be no end to the heights the owls could reach. So says the Book of Nocte. I wonder if I've chosen the right path. Hmm. Was that an acquaintance of yours? Nope. He sure knows his owl history, though. <laughs> Fucking Getty. And it seems that he's following us. If he's got anything to do with the attack on Advent, I'll make him pay! <laughs> Next time, let's grab him. Hmm, well, we can certainly try. But our most important task is to get to that last relic before Mostrum does. Alright, so I think I'm going to end it here. Just because I don't want this video to go on for too long and bore the heck out of you guys because it's a really good game. And I will make another video for the following uh, events that come after this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, 
until next time, guys. Bye.